Hi everyone, Nevada Virtual Academy proficiency exam. We have to graduate, we have to pass this exam. Let's see one more problem, 170. The graph below shows the amount of money in one of Marie's savings accounts over several years. If Marie's, Marie's savings continue to grow at the same rate as shown in the graph, how much money will she have saved? by year five in this account okay and obviously you have to look at your graph and see you know what is the what is the the amount uh, of uh, savings for every year and how is that thing increasing or decreasing in this case it's obvious that this is a this is having a positive slope right and you can picture it here as a line if you want. You can even play with this graph and extend it. You know, and just imagine that this is going to be the fifth year, right? And you go with the vertical line that will cross your lines graph here somewhere. Okay. And you can approximate with an horizontal line from this point the y-axis that the amount you know of the savings in Marie's account after five years would be somewhere halfway between 2500 and 2600 and that takes me to B right as the best choice now this is one way another way is to um, find what is the rate of change because as you can see uh, the savings and and the year they're in a linear relation here and there you know the change in the savings seems to follow a certain pattern and let's say from the first from the from the beginning to the first year you know in the first year what is the what is the change it looks like you can actually make like a table, right? And I will say this is the year. And this is, uh, you know, the savings. First year, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And I'm looking at the differences between the beginning. Well, after, you know, the first year, Marie's account has how many, how much, what amount of savings, right? That's 2100. Compared to the initial one, to the starting point, what is the difference between 2000 and 2100? That's $100, right? Okay, after one more year, what is the amount of increase for Mary's money? So you have to subtract from uh, 2,205 to 2,100. That gives you 105, right? After three years, the amount here will be 2,315, for which if you subtract the previous year's amount, you get 110 right I'm moving on after four years I'm subtracting from 2431 the amount that was there at the beginning of the fourth year which is 2315 out of 2431 that gives you what 116 right so it seems to me that every year Mary's savings account gets about 100, 105, right? 110, 116. What do you guys think will be for the fifth year? Well, following the same kind of increase, I will say that after five years, I have to add about 120, 
twenty dollars to the previous year, right? Which previous year was two thousand four. Do you guys see that? 100, 105, 110, 116. So it looks like I'm going by 5. There's a plus 5, plus 5, plus, well, here's plus 6, but that's approximately 5. And I'll say plus 5, right? So if you go to the fourth year, the amount of money was 2,431, to which you're adding 120, and that takes you to what? 2,551, the closest one to that amount is B, and this is another way in which you can think and reason uh, how to approach, how to find um, the answer to this uh, problem, okay? All right, just two examples of how to solve it. You guys may have a different way, but for the purpose of pro the proficiency exam, this uh, both ways work just fine, all right? Use whichever you like. Thank you.